I'm going to be going over how to set up the I am raising widget for your Twitch TV stream. This is a great tool that plays a little red bar on your stream that displays when it is working correctly. Basically, I will show you guys how to set this up. It's going to have like a little red. I'm going to give you guys a quick little snippet of what it looks like. When you okay, get a donation, kill him! I have mine set for a sound. And I have a little red text that displays across the screen. You guys have probably seen this. And you basically can, uh, I'm just doing, showing you guys a test on it. When you get a donation, or it'll be, you know, here's some money. Oh. It displays a little red icon across your, your uh, Twitch screen when you're gaming for donations it's absolutely free to set up you get it okay by going, kill him i am raising.com i just showed you it twice on my screen i have it show up in red with black text so i'm going to show you guys how to set that up right now that's just it in action right here i just ran a simple test script which i'll show you guys how to do yourself to get it to work correctly first things first is you want to go to i am raising.com i'll have the link below my video on how it works you will sign up for an account and set up uh, log into account. Very important, you have to have a verified PayPal account. I am raising is free to use, but you need to verify with PayPal. So the first thing you want to do is create an event. Like it says, you'll create an event here. You'll say your name, your description. This has to be a valid PayPal email, guys. So it's going to be whatever your PayPal email is. When you're setting your contributions, definitely set up uh, the bare minimum that can, they can donate you guys is a dollar and leave the goal at zero. And then basically fill out whatever you want this to be, whatever your current goals are. Once you have an event created, you're then going to activate your event. And my event's already been activated. See how my, I named it Donate, Donate for God, Bro? It's already been activated. You'll type your password and confirm and hit apply. Then you want to create your widget. When you're creating your widget, you'll have two type of widgets, guys. This is like an enabled widget code, which you can view here. Uh, you can copy and paste this into the old version of Twitch, and it will display a little box here. It will have your donation, how much you've raised, how many people donation. You can type whatever you want it to be. It will look very much like this, and this is actually the link here to do it. But a lot of people want the one with the bar across, and that bar is actually this thing called the live bar. The live bar. The main thing that's really hard about this live bar is you don't want to have a screen blocking your game the whole entire time you want it to be transparent and I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up right now in order to get it transparent you're gonna to wanna to click on the edit button here guys very important is you wanna basically set the name of your bar you're gonna to wanna to set your current height and your border style I'm currently using 80 pixels and I set the current style this is a 00FF0 this is like color code guys this is color code for red this is red and this is red and I'm only putting stats of my recent donators, so it's going to show you guys probably will see right here it says recent donator was John. John actually donated me, I think, like $5 yesterday. And I have a display on my screen. You don't have to have that if you don't want that. You can actually take it off by doing remove stat. You can even add additional st statistics, guys. You can have uh, how much time has passed, the local number. These are all stuff you can add onto your bar to display if you wish to or not. These are already built in in, in the, the tool. Personally, I just like seeing the last donator. So I do have mine set to last donator and I did set up a custom stat. The main thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, for here is your stat headline. You can set your font. This font color 000 is gonna be black. So I'm having a red border style and content in red. My text is gonna be in black. You notice how it's 00, it's in back black and I set my font size. The animated message is what's gonna come up basically I told them as soon as they donate to me it's gonna say thank you it's gonna display their com their comment their comments can be whatever the person typed the amount that they donate it and then also their screen name and that's all right here you can just copy and paste that into this box here guys so whenever they donate it will display what's on their screen this background color is what you want to set for the transparency this 00F0 background color I believe is green. This is a green background color for the I am raising. So I will show you in the OBS why it needs to be green in a second. And I have it, I'm sorry, this is red, I apologize. This is red, this is red. And I have it display the color in red for 10 seconds. So when someone donates to me, it has the animation text with the sound for 10 seconds. You can set it to how long you want it to be. And I have the font color 
black. So it's black on red. I figure people can see that pretty well. So I'll go ahead and you want to make sure you guys get these settings correctly for the color codes to work correctly. Once you have that set up, it will publish a nice bar here. My lar bar has been updated. You can click on your live bar. It will be here in green. What you really want to do now, guys, is you want to have either ideally two monitors makes this much easier. Two monitors makes this incredibly easy. With your open broadcaster is what I'm using, guys. Basically, I'm going to want to use... See, I have my open broadcaster. You gonna, I'm going to want to put this to my other screen. Uh, I can't really show you guys because I'm not capturing my other screen as my chat on it. But you basically want to capture this bar. In order to do that, I'm currently already doing it now on my other bar. You're going to want to set up a monitor capture, guys. So you can set up a new window by doing add monitor capture. You don't have to capture a whole entire monitor. You just want to kind of capture this area, this green area. And you want to set the color transparency in order to do that. So, for instance, I would just call it like money or something, you know, or, or dollar bills, whatever you guys want to call the tab. So, many every, oh, I already have one called money. <laughs> so, I'm going to call this money one. And if you have it on your second monitor in your OBS, you want to make sure you select your second monitor, wherever the first monitor is going to be. If you have one monitor, you will be fine as long as you're using a game capture. I'd recommend having two, it just makes life easier. So, for instance, if this is on the second monitor, which is not, it's currently on my first, you want to select a sub region. And you basically want to region this off in your select region button here. When you're doing that, see how this creates a little box here, guys? I'm basically going to create a little box here, and I'm going to move it. I want to capture this green box here. This is the information I want to capture, guys. You don't have to capture the whole entire thing. You probably can get to about right here or so. You want to capture just this box. This will then only capture this text part here. But you don't want this to display over your game. So this is where you're going to input your color key here. For instance, this is green. So since I set up my toolbar to be green, I'm going to want to use the color color key to be green so it will be transparent. So if you set your background to be red, you're going to want your color key to be red. But since I'm using green, I'm going to want it to be green. So you're going to click on use color key. And then you're going to want to select the color. This is very important, guys. When you select the color, you want it's kind of weird the way you do it. You have to click inside the box and get the color codes and you have to be obviously not colorblind to do this if you notice this color green I could tell right now it's this color green the same color code green right here so since I see my background here is green I want this to be green now this will be transparent so I'm selecting this it's only gonna capture this and it'll be transparent with the money overlay so now I can move this out the way and it'll only capture what's on this screen and a real way to test this guys this is what makes uh, your testing go well or not to know if your overlay is working. I have, I already have one set up over here. So to do the testing, I'll go ahead and uh, move this over here. You want to go ahead and open uh, your console, your console on your Firefox or Chrome or IE. To do that, you type F12. F12 will open your console. And to test to see if this is working or not for you guys, you want to go ahead and input this command. I'll go ahead and copy and paste this in my YouTube video. For the console command, you can have your friend donate you a whole bunch of money or tell people, oh, I'm testing on my new donator bar. Please check out to see if it works. I mean, that's a great way to make money. Great way to make money. But to test for yourself in console, you want to go ahead and trigger this off by putting in a message queue, simple text. Um, I'm just saying the guy's name's John and a uh, sample text. And go in and press enter. Okay, kill him. Notice this will pull up my text in red, the color code I sent before, red with black text over it. And I'm only going to window capture this so since I sent an overlay for green it's only gonna capture what's on the red so if I'm playing a game or you know watching a movie whatever it will just display this text and then you just uh, basically tell in your open broadcaster guys where you want it to be you notice how it shows up I want this to be top or bottom so you can change your capture by editing scenes I can change where I want this to capture if I want it on the bottom I can have it on the bottom I want it on top it can be on top so I have mine currently on t on top to capture that's all you got to do. And now you have a donation bar. I like personally like putting mine in the corner. Like this is my other monitor. I put mine in the other monitor here and I just capture this. See how it's capturing the top part? I only capture the monitor. I'm already lagging. That's awesome. So that's the way to set up the I am raising toolbar. And in order to input the sound file, uh, basically you want to basically drag a CRX file. To do that, I believe you'd go into... Uh, I believe it's add-ons. 
you go to settings and you click on your extensions yes extensions basically the way I'm doing it is I have a donation sound and I basically dragged a CRX file into my extensions so whenever my extension of I'm raising gets updated it plays a sound and you can do that by just dragging a CRX file of your choice you can go Google how to create a CRX file and you can make it play your own custom sound so if you have a really cool custom sound people want to donate to you more often in my opinion so that's basically how to set up the I am raising toolbar if you guys have any questions comments concern please post on my YouTube video below I, more, I do actually check my YouTube videos and I will respond to you to the best of my abilities thank you so much for watching guys I really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe and have a nice day.